driving for the sake of driving <laughs> instead of driving just to get somewhere is very different. It's almost like a like an art form, or it's almost like a it's like a more visceral experience to use the played out term. But it's it's operating a machine, especially an old car. It's very much like playing an instrument, where there's this there's the difference between playing an instrument and listening to like an album or something. You know, the commuting in a car is like listening to the album. The end effect is the same when you're actively driving a car just to go and experience the act of driving the car. It's like playing the guitar for just the experience of playing the guitar. Also on a standpoint of like if you're into modifying your car, driving for the sake of driving is sort of the reward for all the hard work being put into like hours of time and energy and busted up knuckles and you know thousands of dollars and then you get to you know finally reap the rewards of your of all your efforts and see the changes and, and experience the personalizations that you've made to your car and that's uh, maybe that's something that people don't you know it's just an appliance especially like the older and the shittier your car is the uh, the more visceral the experience, you know, the smell of gas and whatnot coming out of the car and having to like change down to second ever so slightly just to not crunch the synchro and you know, it's, it's all encompassing. It's, it's why motorcycles are so popular, you know. No one or very few people commute on a motorcycle simply for like, you know, financial reasons. It's all just the experience. I like driving early in the morning or late at night when there's no one around. You experience the surroundings differently. When you're driving really early in the morning, you're going through downtown and there's nobody there. And you see all the buildings and it's, it's just like a different, it feels like just you and the machine in this world. That's definitely meditative, especially when it's something like an old car that requires like your complete concentration. And then if you're driving quickly and you're, and you're concentrating on that as well, and then you you end up it's it's very like zen meditative contemplative my name's philip and this is the importance of driving for the sake of driving <laughs>